Hi, this is Ron from Lakeshore. Get your flashlight, because we're having fun with shadows. So what are shadows? Shadows are everywhere. They're outside, they're inside. We see them all the time, but what are they? Well, a shadow is a dark shape that is formed when an object blocks a source of light. When you're outside, that source of light can be the sun. And when you're inside, you can use your flashlight. And that's where I want you to start. Take your flashlight and explore shining it on different things and creating shadows, especially inside. Watch how the shadows appear and disappear, get bigger, get smaller, Really take some time and play around with your flashlight to create shadows. Now you're going to need a few more things going forward, so ask an adult or older brother or sister if you need any help. You're going to need a stick, like from a tree, or you can use a yardstick. You're also going to need a cup. Now make sure that cup is not transparent or clear. Remember, a shadow is formed when an object blocks a source of light, so if your cup was clear or transparent, the light would mostly shine through it and make very little of a shadow. And you're also going to need a notebook or some sort of a place to journal your discoveries. Also a place you can take notes throughout the experiment, but afterwards you can really draw and describe all the things you discovered. And once you have all that in place, you'll be ready for three shadow challenges. Shadow challenge number one, stick shadows. I want you to take your stick and put it in the ground somewhere outside. Now try to do this earlier in the day because you're gonna be checking on this shadow throughout the day. And then predict when do you think that stick shadow is going to be the longest. Now write that down in your notebook so you have a, a place to really go back and check throughout the day when that actually happens. You can make prediction very specific like five o'clock or it can be just after lunch. Whatever you decide, make sure you write it down so you can compare when you actually see the shadow be the longest later on in the day. Shadow challenge number two, growing shadows. This is where you get your cup and you put it at the end of a table and then take your flashlight and make a shadow for that cup that grows all the way across to the other side of the table. Now you may need to move your flashlight in order for that shadow to grow and go all the way to the other side of that table. If someone's helping you out, when you get it all the way across, have them take a picture. Now you can change this uh, activity by putting something different on the table to make a shadow. You can get a book standing up on its end or you can get a toy figurine. Shadow challenge number three, body shadows. When you're outside and the sun is shining on your body, see what shapes your body can make when you're trying to make different shadows. Now use your arms, use your legs, and try to make some crazy, silly shadows. You can also do some things that are very specific. Maybe with your body you can make the shadow of a giraffe or an elephant. Get other family members involved. Have somebody come out and use their body to create a really short shadow. Or you can use your body to create a really long shadow. Remember, when you're outside, your source of light is going to be the sun. So your shadows are going to change depending on when you go outside. And since you need a source of light, on a cloudy day, does that change your shadows? When you compare, reshape, and predict with shadows, you can have a new experience every time you try it. So have fun with shadows. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos. Plus, visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.